Hello, everybody! I did possibly the worst thing I could ever do before starting to record and got myself a fucking popsicle. I don't really have time to just finish it and record later, though. I want to get, like, three videos done. I want to get this forsaken piece of shit done. And then get Jailbreak and Bard Quest done. And yeah, that's right, we're finally starting on MS Main Adventure after this. Wow! Cool. Yippee, even. So, Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff, the origin story. We're not going to be covering Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff on its own, actually. Um, instead, what we're going to do is, it's linked multiple, it's linked a good amount of time in Homestuck. It's just referenced an absurd amount of times. Whenever it links to a page, we're just going to read that page. And uh, and if there are any pages that aren't referenced after that, we'll read those. Because the thing is, like, as far as I'm aware, the actual upload date of a majority of these pages is unknown. I, yeah, because, like, if, if we actually go on here, just have a peek into the insanity, if we actually go on here, yeah, it just, hell, a lot of the comics aren't even, like, linked on here. We, we will try to cover everything, but, you know. But right now, we're just going to be doing the origin story. Oh, boy. The Willard. This is the thread where Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff originate. Andrew Hussey is a user called SO who you can identify by the flashing avatar. You can mostly skip the details until he shows up around halfway down the thread. It all went down around March 28, 2009 when Andrew was best known for sick figure comics like Problem Suit. This means that Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff actually predates Homestead, which began in April of the same year. Oh boy. I've skimmed this thread multiple times, but I haven't read it from beginning to end. So, let's begin our deep dive. Okay, so one day I decided to go back and see how Penny Arcade starts. It's a particular comic I read said something about Mike's games aren't improving. I sat there and read the whole 10 years of it. After that, I was inspired to start. I was inspired to start drawing my own based on the generally humorous shit that happens when myself and my friend hang out and play games. I started out drawing the whole thing in Illustrator with a mouse, and got to have and use that to draw in an Illustrator. And now what I'm doing is doing all about lying in Illustrator and coloring. I've even started doing some shading in Photoshop. However, these all represent my first attempt at doing any of these things, or even using Photoshop and Illustrator, and some general help and critiquing would be useful. Here's a mouse drawn. <sighs> Look at Lewis, dude! At, at least, at least some grit. Come on! And the early tablet. Dude, you're ridiculous! <laughs> what? I'm just fucking. And the file so I won't play to stick with. Of course, some things will just always look like ass. Dude, I'm called for. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to make a reminiscent of the stupid sweet bro and all the voices I love doing so much without sounding, without being the voices. These are the fucking patient zeros. I was done with the pop school again. I should not have gone this right before I started recording, but whatever. Okay, the first two I had a copy from my blog where I posted them as a corrupted hard drive caused me to lose originals, but the last one is the original file, which is why it's bigger. The characters are, as I said, based on myself and my friend, including their look. Even the clothes are based on an actual t shirt and hoodie you wear often. Hey, I like my skull and cross sword shirt. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I left the swords out on the Dane character. Also, before you level cr criticism, keep these things in mind. 
one, these are single panel seeing that Codex, so no, they're not funny, and two, I know there's in the back, a real background in the third one, so it's, it's intentional. I was a kind of breaking the fourth wall one, so I didn't want to have a real world setting in this kind of a blank space. Edit. Oh, oh, my comic is called Higher Technology, hence the title of the page of the, of the thread. I just noticed I happened to pick three panels to have two in them. <laughs> Subconscious, maybe? Hmm. You know what, actually? Let me see if it's if it survives somewhere. Oh my god, boy. They, it seems as if they disappeared off the internet. Either that or just kind of rebranded. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh, hi, Metalborn. <clears throat> the entire thing gives the entire thing gives me the impression that you're not even trying. I'm not even going to go past the first panel. Take a look at it and tell me what's wrong with it. I'm going to be bold enough to wager that you don't know what's wrong with it, and that's, that's why I'm just going to tell you now that you need a ton of art classes. Damn. I mean, it's, it, yeah, it's nothing special, but like... Damn, they're just they're learning. Be nice. Hey, hey, dude, I don't, hope you don't mind some fan art of your comic. Your character in the all the hoodie looks like my idiot friend in Vancouver who is stupid. <laughs> is, is this the fucking... Is this the... Is this the motherfucker? Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it's actually opening this on the web archive. Um... Uh, yeah, it's trying to open actual links to everything. Oops. Damn. I didn't actually want to do that. I wanted to go to here. Oh. Okay. Form. I didn't know there was more on here, actually. <laughs> Huh. Huh. Do they host the thing? Screw cred? Oh yeah, that. Alright, yeah. Okay, anyway. Form. They're, they're on this one, I think. Yeah, is this this has to be Michael? Trip wire is Michael. I just had to double check. Holy cow! I just saw it. Holy shit, dude! That's pretty awesome. Makes me wish my comic were better. Well, I think now I feel obligated to show it to you, but I'm worried worried about sight horror. Ooh, I'll put the link in my sig. There's nothing. You lie. Okay, so I try, so I try another style again. I just can't make up my mind, damn it. <laughs> anyway, here's an unfinished look at where I'm headed. I just still gotta finish the outline for Dana and then draw Louis in color and shade the whole thing, but I'm guessing you can tell just by looking at it. I just realized how long this is. I might not have time to do the other shit I planned on doing. Oh, hmm. Honestly, I, th I think this style... I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like this one more. I mean, I think this one is the most appealing to look at, but it's also, like, the most unfinished. Like, it's the most amateurish one. This one, you can't really see their faces. You can't really say it looks good. Because, you know, 
Yeah, it definitely doesn't look good if that's all you're seeing of it. Not the surrounding panels, but yeah. I don't fucking know. That right, is so spot on. <laughs> My girlfriend and I, who mostly work here, spent an unreasonable amount of time trying to figure out why you got an infraction for this. It was kind of beautiful when the pieces all came together. <laughs> Oh my god. Also can't figure out why Triv was infracted. Anyways, there are really hoodies that say haul on them, of course. This post is full of clues. Just ask yourself what Encyclopedia Brown would do. Someone, someone tell me I don't get it. <laughs> Sounds like a mystery for the mystery solving game. Ruh -ruh. Maybe I'm just good with faces, but as soon as he posted it, I cracked up. Basically, Bob Scott all pissed off against Michael re revealed to the world what a fat ass he is. <laughs> Middleborn, yeah, you are a fu you're just kind of an asshole. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> uh, oh man, did Mr. Furman really paint Bob's in there? Bob's is either skinny or metal as an asshole. Yep, yeah. <laughs> That dick, if that dick, 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 Sean, dick, dick on me. I think it's dick on me. Let me check. Uh, dick. Dichotomy. Dichotomy. Damn. Murder economy. <laughs> that, that, if that dichotomy, dichotomy, if that dichotomy weren't false, you wouldn't need to ask that question. Well, did someone want to let me in on it, or am I the butt of the joke? Is uh, okay. So respond to this. This sentence is referring to Bomb Bar Bardier, who is the mod that subsequently gave Tripwire the infraction. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, I get it. Okay, I I wasn't really getting it. I was just like kind of like, yeah, what was what, what, what any of this mean? <laughs> but oh my god, <laughs> that is that's fucked up actually. I was actually thinking exactly that because of some of the comments, but I don't know what the hell he looks like, so... Yeah, you know when you finish that panel, more or less, I was working on it in yet another style. I'll just move out the shading, shading later. I, right now, I just don't feel like it. Yeah, the fuck... You know... I, I think the style is better, but the character's not so like... I, I... Like, honestly, I think th this... This design of the characters is the best, but the style is the worst. Bottom line is much better in terms of in, in terms of tone and color. Are you drawing your pics with vectors? I wouldn't draw with vectors unless I'm accurately tracing a sketch and it with pencil. It looks really odd. I also go back and refine things if they look wrong. The blonde haired dude's eyebrow is bleeding into his eye. It kind of screws up the entire face, so try and refine the little details so they aren't looking quite right. Yeah. Yeah, this fucking... This is how you actually critique someone's art. Yeah. Metalborn was just being a fucking asshole, like... Yeah. That, that just, he's been on all three of these, hasn't he? All three of these little threads? He's just kind of been a complete asshole in every one for no real fucking reason. <laughs> Like, damn, damn, just damn. <laughs> um, elbows are too far up, unless they're both very tense. They should be slouched a little, allowing the forearms to rest on the sides. These are really far back up and on the heads. You should look at pictures of real people and try sidelight that into a cartoon. Hey, where the hell did my pick go? And thanks for the help, I'll def do some work on taking those into account. Edit K, I think if it's whatever made the pick disappear. From about the elbows, I was trying to make it so they're resting the one arm on the arm of the couch, but Lewis, green sweatshirt guy in particular, looks pretty fucked up, and I'm not quite sure how to make him look right. Any chance someone has or can draw a quick a sketch of something like how they should look? Yep, ears are a death outline problem, because I skip the whole drawing the skeleton across the lines on the face to make sure everything's proportional and lined up step. I just draw this for fun of my spare time. I haven't taken an art class since high school. 
for my handful of friends that think my cartoons are funny, but I want them to look better, which is why I came here, so maybe I'll start doing that. The last thing I was trying to make Lewis look like is he's doing that one raised eyebrow look, but I def screwed it up, so I'll try and fix that too. Oh, last thing. I was... Okay. Thanks, guys. Edit. Again, Lewis's hands don't look quite right. My second hands in general. Ideas? Alright. I think the hands look pretty fine. Maybe this one's kind of awkward, but... Mm. Alright, let's see the new one. Hmm. So I've fixed so far. I'm going snowboarding, so that's all I have the time for at the moment. You can, as you can probably see, I decided, or maybe realize, it's a better word. There should be a shadow in the shape of Lewis's head on his left shoulder. Hmm. There, I think I managed to hit up all the crits you guys mentioned. All right, yeah, yeah, that that that's good. So, what do you think? I say I don't notice any changes in any of these three images. I do. I I I don't really, I didn't really notice any in these two. The only thing is a shadow which he mentioned, so yeah. I can't really see any other difference, but here I, I can see some other the eyebrow the face definitely is done a little better. Yeah, the face is definitely done a lot better. Fucking Yeah, the eyes are like, yeah, eyes aren't as far anymore, the, eyebrow, the eyebrows are definitely, it's just the whole face is redone, it looks more natural. Like this one, this one looks really silly cartoonish, this one looks like an actual person. Kinda. Huh? Like, it, the, it doesn't, like the main thing was like, this guy's face being drawn in kind of like a realistic style. And this just being kind of a lump, weirdly shaped lump. This one fixes it. Yeah, it's good. Face of the guy on the right is more round and less distorted. Also, there appear to be more highlights. Highlights? I mean, no, it's not. Okay, say you build a house, but don't build a foundation. Say you're just throwing up drywall randomly. Check some wallpaper up. Put a few paintings on the wall. And someone says, come and says, dude, the drywall looks hella crooked. So you kind of adjust it a bit. You still have a house without a foundation. You can play around with that drywall until you're blue in the face. Your house is still unstable. Here's your foundation. What is this? I don't think... Does this... I'll just leave that. First image or second image. Lower left guy's ear to line up properly. Add proper shadowing to right guy's shoulder. Blended shadows on the couch. Right guy switcher and left guy's beat here better. So need lower fix elbows. Take care of blonde guy's eyebrow bleeding into his eye from things mentioned by other posters. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, I see. Alright, yeah, I didn't fucking know, so yeah, that shit, damn. Second image or third image adjusted right guy's elbow so it looks like it's resting beside him and reaching forward instead of being held in front of him like he's flexing. Urgh, hoax smash and fix all the shadows and highlights on the arm and in front of the torso in accordance. Round out right guy's head and move the eyebrows up to stop it from bleeding in the eye. The changes are deaf there if you look, especially if you look at them next to each other. Thanks for the book recommendation recommendation Bevotron, but like I said, I just do this for three or four of my friends who think my cartoon is funny. I don't really have the time or more importantly, money to start investing in the shit. It this thing, this thing looked like a real artist drew it. I did bookmark that page though, in case there comes a time where I have the time. Yeah, that'll work. Anyway, now that I've gone through everything you guys mentioned, looked wrong after the first post of it. I don't look at it and immediately go, something doesn't look right, which is good enough for my purposes. So. Thanks, and I'm sure I'll be back going, okay, so this is why I fucked up this time. Oh, oh well, if it's just for fun, then have at it and keep having fun. Yeah. Epic. Yeah, this, this, I like I like this, these kinds of interactions. Uh, I see fucking met, metal board down here, I'm scared. Oh, damn, I forgot I'm getting hella better at using Photoshop. It's probably my biggest hurdle. <laughs> but going back and looking at things, per your recommendation, so thanks for that too. Photoshop is like a giant puzzle. You just got to play around with it a lot to get it. If you have specific Photoshop questions, just 
ask. There are lots of people around here who can help you with that. If they're not really looking to become a better skilled artist, then why are you posting here? I think they, I think they're trying. They're just, I think they're trying to become a better artist. They're just, you know, kind of just a fun thing. They just want it to not look like complete shit. That's the main thing. They're not, they don't have a high goal. They just don't want it to look like garbage. Alright. This done, your stupid aluminum sidling will make that house look just fine. Make it till you make it. <laughs> no boy is a huge asshole, but it's just fucking ed everything he says is entertaining, honestly. <laughs> He's basically just an internet troll. Just so I can get some tips on some of the more obvious things to a tr more trained artist's eye, anyway. Yeah, that will make my tunes look awesome. I don't make the same mistakes every time I draw them and have to sit there going, fuck, what is it? Also, I can try and decide on the style I want to draw them in. And lastly, so I can get a better handle on Photoshop in case the day comes where I do have the time and motivation to do some real artwork. Also, mostly because it was Penny Arcade that inspired me to draw a comic about me and my idiot friend playing video games in the first place. I think the Amazon page finally loaded. Holy shit. Holy crap, the old, old layout. <laughs> Drawing on the right side of the brain. Wow, this was not worth the wait. <laughs> Alright, hey genius, why don't you go back and look at the post right under the one I started this whole fucking travesty? Or is that not the one you wanted to hear? You lazy fuck who isn't going to get better. I've seen a million different webcomics come through you and I've heard every single excuse ever given for sucking so bad. Everything some being shitty in my style will do. It doesn't matter because it's just for my two loser ass friends to get a giggle out of. So what the fuck makes you special enough to tell anything other than go take a fucking art class? Jeez. You are, yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, so, okay. Since you offered, I still can't seem to get the same results off drawing with a tablet in Photoshop than, you, than when I draw with just pencil and paper. Is it just because I'm using a fairly cheap tablet, or did anyone else go through the same adjustment? Anything special you did to close that gap, or does it just take time to adjust? Probably, yeah. So hard to find the troll... The tools I need in Photoshop, I'm sure I will get the hang of given enough time. Yeah, that's, yeah, I have a drawing tablet. I barely use it because I lo ended up losing the pen. I ended up losing the pen, and when I fucking got a new one, I could not get it to connect. No matter what, even though it was the same exact one. <laughs> I, I'm using my drawing tablet as my screen right now, actually. Like, it's basically my monitor because it's, like, very easy. Like, it's easily portable. But, like, yeah. Fuck. But, like, yeah, so I only, I barely drew on it because of that shit I mentioned, but there definitely was, like, a bit of adjustment, yeah. I should, I should just invest in, like, a new drawing tablet, honestly. But, yeah. Okay. Maybe the fact that just because I'm not planning to t make a career out of drawing shouldn't exclude me from getting some help on the art that I do draw. Or, nor should the fact that I don't have the time or money to be spending on art classes or digesting art books, you elitist douche tool. Although this doesn't make me special, just like any average person who decided to get back to do into doodling because I saw something that inspired me to do so. But clearly being too busy with my life outside of drawing makes me a lazy fuck. I considering that I did manage to get some tips, there are obviously other people here that feel the same way. No one's forcing you to come in here and post. If you're so terribly offended by my cartoons, just stay the fuck off the thread. It's not like it's sneaking up on you. Oh hey, a new thread, let's check that out. Damn, it's a higher technology thread again, sneaky bastard. So, tell me, is it that you're incapable of saying anything constructive, or just that you're incapable of not being a total fuckwad? Honestly, probably both. <laughs> Douche tool? Never heard that one. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. It's it sounds like a really simple insult, but then you think about it, and it's like I've never heard that actually. <laughs> oh boy. People try. Yeah, I did say something constructive. My first po post, you bitch burglar. 
<laughs> now go back and read it. Fucking do what I told you to. Otherwise, pack up your shit. Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Again, a huge asshole, but honestly entertaining. I think we're getting close to the point Andrew Isaac will show up, maybe. Oh, so and certainly got an ego. Or I just didn't realize you owned this form and hiding it behind a quote didn't change anything. Yeah, I think Pay actually did a comic about you. Holy shit. Alright, we'll cut we'll come back to that. <laughs> and so, since when did you suck try taking an art class? Constitute something constructive. Now how about you pack up your shit? Get the fuck out of my thread, troll coxane. Willard, pack up your shit stuff and get out while you still can. You just did the clothes and the punching a bear in the face. Did nothing but make him mad. I, I second that. Wait, what'd you come? Uh, wait. Yeah, I second that. Oh, boy. I have never been able to get the same effect, so I usually just get some paper scan and color. Oh, boy. Alright. Hmm. I never thought of that. I I don't I don't want to do that though. But interesting. <laughs> Where's a douche toy in both shop and you see his too? <laughs> yeah, trying to get the same effect with traditional methods with both shop is very difficult. There are brushes that can kind of replicate effects, though. I haven't really bothered to learn using them. The last year at uni, I was wanting my digital painting to look traditional, so to get a pencil look to my sketches, I grabbed a standard brush and screwed around the brush settings until I created something that looked kind of traditional. In the end, when they showed my results to my tutor, he thought it was a sketch on paper, and I scanned into the comp and digicolored it. Not a tutorial by any means, but here are the brushes I like to use when trying to replicate a pencil look digitally. Also, there are the brush settings I mess around with, alright. To just screw around with setting till you fuck. Screw out, screw out, the best. Just screw around with setting till you find something you're comfortable with. With your comics, I think you should go with a more natural look. These just look too much like dodgy vector art. Even try scanning you, even try scanning your clean sketches in your computer and color them digitally, like Beef said. I'm not a great artist, but seeing as you're new to Photoshop, I hope this can help in some way. All right. A few thoughts. First of all, this form heavily emphasizing emphasizes meaningful and ongoing artistic growth. If you had taken some time to actually pursue art class before jumping in, you would realize that everyone who regularly posts here is primarily concerned with improving as an artist. Nobody here is going to say, hey, at least you tried. They're going to provide specific input on what you need to do to improve. You try to swim upstream against that, you're going to be called on your bullshit. That's how it works. I mean, th they weren't really doing that. Like they were, they were here looking for criticism. They were looking for people, you know, telling them what they did wrong. Metalborn just wasn't doing that. Metalborn was just fucking saying, "Hey, fuck you, get out." <laughs> they were not the only. Con they fucking like even when pushed on con constructive criticism, they said, "Oh, what I'm saying is constructive." <laughs> Like, damn. Second, you do suck, and you do need to take an art class. Everyone sucks when they start at something. What else do you want people to tell you? You're wasting people's time by demanding attention and feedback before learning even the bare basics of your craft. Imagine if I joined a music bar and posted an mp3 of myself clumsily strumming the chords G, C, and D on a guitar over and over. No song, no structure, just three. Just the three most basic chords in the world. What would they tell me? Hey, maybe you should learn to play the fucking guitar before you try to write a song. Hey, maybe you should actually write something instead of strumming the same three chords for four minutes. Hey, why are you wasting time with this? And what else are they supposed to tell me? I didn't bother to learn to play an instrument or write music before posting on the songwriting forum, so what feedback can they possibly give me beyond why don't you learn how to make music before wasting our time? And if I'm just doing it for fun and I don't care about actually learning the craft, then maybe I shouldn't post my fun on a forum for people who take the craft very seriously, and maybe I shouldn't demand that they provide validation of my fun. Last, if you barge into a forum with no regard for its customs and culture, you don't get to call someone a troll for calling you on your bullshit, not how it works. If you actually want to learn to draw, 
Why don't you follow the advice that these incredibly talented artists have given you and start with the basics? Study some drawing manuals and come back in a week to show us the lines, circles, squares, and triangles you're drawing. I'm sure there will be plenty of people here who will be more than happy to hold your hand and help you learn the basics as long as you actually apply yourself and listen to their advice. If you're just looking for unearned praise or hopelessly amateurish work, though, why don't you take your pirated copy of Adobe Creative Suite and get the fuck out of Metalboard's office? Okay, I I am seeing where they're coming with it. I'm not, I'm not familiar. Like I've never been on the Penny Arcade forums myself. Like... I'm not familiar with the whole fucking thing, but, like, at least I can see, like, where they're coming from with this. I, I think it's still, like, way too mean of Metalboard specific. I think everyone else has been fine, but I think Metalboard specifically has been, like, way too mean. At least here, like, I do think this is pretty mean, but, like, at least I it doesn't seem like it's too mean. It's all, like, very fair points, very understandable points. Like, wow. So yeah, good way to put the situation in perspective, WP. There's a time and place. There's a time for advice, and there's a time for practice. Ask questions if you want to learn, but we, but we willing to absorb the feedback offered. You can use advice as a shortcut, only to point. Yo, know, you can't use advice as a shortcut, only to point you vaguely in the right direction. And this guy, more natural. Computer is not your friend. Figure it out with a pencil first. Seriously, you're trying to learn two things at once. Insert, insert clever analogy here. No one is saying you have to spend a lot of money. Google art tutorials or something along those lines to find free resources. Drop 20 on a drawing book, but you've got to be willing to spend the time. If you don't have the time to practice drawing, well, just reread some of the above posts. Willard, I, here's a very basic Photoshop tutorial that I did that might help you out. I apologize for the sloppy handwriting. If you have questions, let me know. Tutorial, this, Tim. In the title, I suppose layer 5 and 6 are completely off so You can stop with layer 4 and be happy, I guess. Where you want to go with this? You should check this, the thing about Metalborn. Oh. Okay, it's not literally about Metalborn. True. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if we'll fuck it. If it's a video, we're probably not gonna watch it anyway. You. Fucking back to this shit. And while you're at it, you ignorant iguana fucker, go back to my first post and read it another two or three times. Specifically, read the first part where I said, look at the first panel and tell me what's wrong with it. But apparently, Tripwire's fan art gave me such a huge fucking head that he figured he didn't need to do any actual work anymore. Well, while we're on the subject, it led to wonder why Tripwire got infected for drawing you fan art. Do you really think Bombardier, Bombardier is offended because he's a stupid friend for Vancouver? Or maybe a lot of their elitist douche tools were making fun of you with an inside joke that you wouldn't understand. Much like the time in high school where, where, when the cheerleaders gave you an invitation to a party at an address that doesn't exist. Of course, the other reason you haven't done what I told you is because you don't actually fucking know what's wrong with the first panel. Of course, I explained that the rest of my, that scenario in my first post, and I'll repeat it again. I've seen a million shitty webcomics come through here, and everyone that was about th two friends who played video games was defended by an artist who could give a million justifications for why he was a silly shitty artist, but none for why he should improve. You take my abrasive style or leave it, I don't care. If you're so offended that you never come back, it doesn't matter. There will be another asshole with a shitty web coming back here in a couple days. But hey, at least this is an entire exchange to give you some ammunition for your next dribble for your two friends to laugh about. The thi but the thing is, like, the whole reason they're even posting here is because they want to improve. Like, they they don't want they want they don't want to go professional, but they want to improve. They, they just want, that's the whole thing about learning art, taking, like, little steps at a time. Like, you don't, you're not gonna learn it all at once, and it's okay if they don't want to go professional. Like, I, like, fucking, hell, I want to go professional someday, but, like, they're, even, they're much better than me. I'm not good at drawing. I need, I need to learn. <laughs> like, damn. Oh well. 
Polish dear, <laughs> dear Tripwire, you have received in practice today arcade forums. Reason, minor offense. Your face is stupid. It in fact worth two points and may result in restricted access until it expired. <laughs> it was racially motivated. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, right, has this loaded yet? At least all these are archived in some form or another. Whenever this loads. <laughs> Alright, here you are. D didn't quote things correctly. Uh, oh, oh no, wasn't trying to quote. So reply to Winter Common Night. I quote, try those. Yeah, my scanner died months ago. I don't have one anymore. But since I'm starting to get the hang of Photoshop, I think I'll skip the vector art from now on. Wasted pixels. Fair enough, but you, are you seriously going to invest time, money, and effort to learn all the ins and outs of the instrument if you just want to do a cover of one song? Probably not. Higher technology being the one and only thing I spend any time drawing. I, mean, I see it much the same way. Second, I wasn't looking for unheard praise or validation, just some tips to prove what I had, which I managed to get from Winter Combat Night. Tam and not a crook, so my drawings aren't completely devoid of merit. I'm not demanding your attention and feedback. If you feel my art is so beneath you that it's a waste of your time, you can just ignore me. It's not gonna bother me any. Yeah, fucking it, exactly. Like, I, I'm on fucking this guy's side. Spell chrome. I can draw just fine with a pencil and paper. If I can get the same quality digitally, I, well, I wouldn't be here. And since I couldn't maintain the same quality, I just skipped earlier steps to get done quicker, considering Little Warren's only advice was take a fucking art class. Yes, that is asking you to spend a lot of money. And, and again, like, fucking, you've literally, you have literally said that you did do an art class before. It just didn't really stick that much. <laughs> Since I'm currently saving for a cross-country move coming up in July, any expenditure on something that's just a hobby is pretty much out of the question, which is why I kept saying at some point in the future when I can dedicate the time and effort. Tim, thank you. Don't worry, your handwriting isn't worse than mine. This is that is exactly the kind of help I was hoping for. I may even put that to use much sooner than I originally planned. It's especially ironic because I was just coming in here to ask about how to use the layers to do well. That. I'm kind of interested to see how you would draw another guy. <laughs> I'll see if I can put together something that puts your touch, touch to use and come back with it. it. Might be a little while though, if, while I decide if I want to implement it now and interrupt the current episode with such a drastic change of style, or finish it the way it is now and draw the next one like that. Can I? It's not loading. Can I just... Is this still up? No. Alright. Whatever it is, something that could have helped me <laughs> is no longer around. Sad. My, my comic is for the jokes. Mostly in jokes with my friends. Although if you know the games I'm talking about in the episodes, you'd probably find it funny too. Not the art, but since I'm the only one that can draw it, well... I'm the only one drawing it, so unless someone wants to take my stuff and do the do the art for it, be the game to my Tycho. I just need some help getting Photoshop to do what I want and an outside opinion when I know something looks wrong. And last, since you all manage to post without uh, being the complete fuckstick that Metalborn was, I maintain my opinion that he is a complete and utter tool. An opinion that at least Winter shares, so I know I'm not alone in thinking this. In all, in all fairness, you do look pretty stupid. <laughs> yeah, Metal Board is, again, Metal Board is just way too fucking mean, but it's always, like, some of the shit he says is just, like, really funny. <laughs> I used to borrow drawing books from the public library. They were often beat them and out of date, but hey, at least they were on the subject I liked. Holy fuck, that's da a damn good idea. I hope the library in the shit town has some. Of course, they had a graphic novel technique with Watchmen of the Dark Knight Return, so just maybe. But, alright, sleep time. I'll probably be back, be back around 12 at slash 1 a.m. when I'm just sitting at work with nothing to do. Too bad I can't install Photoshop on the hotel's computer and sit there drawing all night, because I think this is the largest block of free time I have. How fucked up is that? But you can use pencil and paper, which is better than using Photoshop when you're trying to learn how to draw anyway. Yeah, like, that's the thing. At, at least, like, some of my drawings on paper look kind of decent. Barely anything I've drawn on computer does. I just need to draw more. 
I had this really stupid shitpost comic on MSPFA, like, a fan comic of a fan comic, that, like, it, it, it was a shitpost, so it did not need to look good. And that's what I was trying to fuck with. I should, like, I haven't touched it in years. Honestly, I should, like, go back to it to, and just, like, try to do just one panel a day. <laughs> just, yeah. But I'm already, like, taking, like, I'm recording this. I'm already taking on a good amount of projects. I have to do that later when I have more free time. Anyway, um, I prefer the term douche king of royalty amongst the douches. I agree with Metalborn and Wasted Pixelers. The thing is, this does happen a lot. Bad co and bad comics, I mean. Keep this in mind, this isn't an attack on you, but we all suck at some point. I go even as far as to think we are always sucking. We're just at different levels of suck and realization, so that puts you to the next level. The only real attacks on you are based on your reactions to criticism and your unwillingness to learn. Now, what others have done, giving you more than just direction, is damn decent of them, but understand... Most everyone here had to go through the same laborious steps to get to where they are and further. What you are asking is basically to skip all that. Tell me the secrets and or tricks. There really aren't any real ones. There are some that can allow you to fake it and make certain things look better, but without the understanding and practice, it won't really help you. It's especially frustrating, though, when you state how you want help improving, but also say you don't care to really improve. You want some quick tricks? Some people are going to give some to you. It won't be good for you, but it will help things look less shitty as long as you can stay in their scope. In summaration, if you want to really improve, take all of this in and practice. You don't really need to buy buy much of anything. I haven't bought any books, but they will help you improve faster. Lord knows I'm progressing slowly. If you want to keep on the care but don't care train, be grateful for those who are too nice, but don't be a dick when others don't placate to your failings. Well, if the cock doubler is finally willing to visit the library and check out some books, someone tell him to check out the Understanding Check Out Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud because we are not on speaking terms. Is there a cock doubler here? It's Mr. Cock Doubler. I haven't heard a message for you from one Mr. Metaboard. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I missed something, and I've read the entire, entire thread, but I can't tell Metaboard is serious or joking. Take a chill pill, dude. Eights. The messages you're posting is not the way you should speak to other human beings. Yeah, literally, my board is cutting the willer down inside so the willer will di dig deep and work harder than he's ever worked in his life just to prove metal board wrong. The willer willard will then someday realize that metal board wasn't being cruel. He was just fighting a fire under the willer's ass to get him moving. They look back fondly on Metal Warrior, the same warm, nostalgic memories that a soldier had about his drill instructor. He pushed me to be my best. Or he's a huge asshole. Or he's a huge asshole, one of the two. <laughs> You're assuming those two opinions are mutually exclusive. There's a reason my thing is the way it is. <laughs> that's, that's why I like the AC. That's why I like the AC. It's the right combination of stupid butt fuckery and the verbal masturbation to suit my needs. Metal board is the enforcer. I always thought of him more as the informer. See, snow for details. He's got a superiority complex going on. Trust me, I'm very familiar with it. <laughs> They're not human beings. They're little bots who generate text and I can make and destroy them with my slightest whip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit. Holy fuck. Andrew Hussey finally appears. Yep. Uh, how, how long? Oh my god. Yeah, this is weird. I was not expecting this I, I fucking had something planned around, like, fucking ten minutes. Uh, let me fucking check Discord on my phone real quick. Um, nothing. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine to keep going. Anyway, Andrew Hussey is finally real. <clears throat> to the original poster. Nice work. Keep practicing, and you are sure to improve by leaps and bounds. Andrew, you're the anchor that gives my spirit license to soar. Where the fuck this is. Can I share one of my comics with everybody? Sweet bro and hello Jeff. Oh boy. Uh, uh, bro? Yeah, dude? Where are your pets? I took them off because I was begging your mom for a minute there. And now you are begging her. <laughs> Sweet bro. <laughs> oh boy. 
<laughs> I'll get bored with that line of thought, although in all seriousness, I actually feel a lot better, better about Metal Gear now. If he wasn't such a huge ass nugget, I would have been perfectly happy continuing on with my comic good enough for my friends, since they actually know less about drawing than I do, so it would have made no difference to them. But now I'm probably going to put far more work into bringing it up to snuff than I was ever playing to before, just for my own personal satisfaction. So, <laughs> at this... Oh, Metal, it'll be like that. I was hoping we could be BFFs. That's the best fucking friends forever for the Pineapple Express and Parent. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll see if I can find that book while looking around the library bag book. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the fucking worst in the song I've ever seen. <laughs> that's the worst thing. And, Chibo, it's not that I care but don't care. It's just that the webcomic is the only thing I draw. I haven't done any artwork in years, much to the chagrin of my high school art teacher, so I just wanted to learn things that pertain to that style of drawing. For example, take the I can't even pretend to afford it right now argument off the table. I'm not going to go to an art class where they have me painting bowls of fruit and new models when I can just when I just want to draw a cartoon about the stupid shit that goes on when me and my friends get together usually to play video games. I do care, just that I only care about learning stuff that I'm actually going to use. That's fair, but like the thing is they they will teach you more than that. And like even the stuff that you think or isn't gonna come in handy, you can end up repurpose, repurposing it to come in handy. You would be pretty surprised. Um. Anyway, I'm going to get, do some good old pencil and paper sketching for practice while I'm sitting here at work. But as I said earlier, I don't have a scanner, so I'll have to figure out a way to post them here. Maybe I'll just take pictures with my digital camera. Yeah, that'll probably be it. Just so I just have one thing to say to you. What the fuck? P.S. You don't merely read Sweet Bill and Hollow Jeff. You have to appreciate it like a fine wine. I appreciate it more like a nightmare. I'm glad. I'm gl <laughs> appreciate it more like like a nightmare. I'm glad it is over. It's just disturbing. <laughs> and yes, I get that he's mocking my comic. Not like there's any material like that in mine. So I'm studying Tim's tutorial, and now I have a Photoshop question. How do you guys do shadowing and highlights? I've been using the dodge slash the burn tool for it, but in Tim's thing, at least it looks like it, at least it looks more like he copies a color with an eyedropper and darkens it before applying. Is one way better than the other? Is it a matter of preference, or was it just doing it wrong altogether? The dodge burn tool should not be used for shadowing and highlights. <laughs> Fucking appreciate it. Like, more like a nightmare flies over. Over? Oh, Willard, you've done it now. Oh, dear God, no. Can everyone at least keep their pants on this time? This time. Sweet bro and hella Jeff. I can't wait to be a useless piece of shit all day and play all these games. Fuck, I'm falling down all these stairs. I warned you about stairs, bro. I told you, dog. It keeps happening. I told you, man. I told you about stairs. That's a horrible line to live Reaper Hellacha. <laughs> this time, he does a shitty webcomic so well. <laughs> well, it's not worse than Emma Spain Adventures. Holy shit, that was hilarious. <laughs> So just how high do you get before coming up with the... Oh my god, okay, some jelly comics coming again soon then. <laughs> anyway, here's what low sketching I did at work. It's, uh, it's not very good. Maybe I've been out of practice for too long. Anyways, here it is. What? What the holy shit? Alright, yeah, this is... Yeah, I like, I like, yeah, I like that. I think I think Lewis's head is like kind of off, but it's not enough to like ruin it for me. Like I, I think overall this actually does look pretty good. Yeah, not amazing, but it's not bad at all. And I did find one I drew a few years ago. Here it is, as well as a reference I used for comparison. Oh my goodness! All right, that not horrible, but not that. Good either. And yes, I'm already aware that the eye is up too high, the jaw is too rounded, and the ear is in the wrong shape, but yeah, it's me sketching the old fashioned way with pencil and paper. Man, the thread delivers. Willard, your IP has moved on to greener pastures, I am afraid. 
Oh, and so, can your next MSP event be about two guys who love to play video games? <laughs> this is a little paint over of your sketch. I think if you bring everything a little more closer, it'll look better. I'd try to get used to sporting subtle details. In the reference pic, he looks really focused, almost angry, but in your pic, he's smiling. I just moved all your bits tired together and paid a few more higher contrasts, though. My paint over doesn't really look like the reference. I think I'm just being a little more aware of structure adding contrast what could really help the likeness. Also, your pick really... Your pick remind me of the autopilot on the film Flying High, or as it was called in the USA, Airplane. <laughs> yeah, but how high do you get? Me? You figured me out, bro. I took for broke. Today, I put jelly on this hot... God. <laughs> That's how high do you even have to be just to do something like that? You know what? I've decided when we start fucking. When we start Home Suck, once Sweet Brown Hello Jeff gets introduced, I'm just doing one comic at a time. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. One comic per episode, it will be amazing. Hello Jeff looks like some stupid guy I know that lives in Vancouver. You better watch it. Making fun of our fat ass mods will get you infracted. <laughs> oh boy. Dodge just burn tools are awful and look awful. It's like pooping all over the computer. The more likely thing he was doing was having the brush opacity set to pen pressure and using a darker and or lighter color over the base. There are several ways to go about it, but what you'll probably find easiest is to make a new layer in Photoshop and set the multiply. Everything on that layer will darken the colors on the ones below it. Do not use black, though. Use a dark blue or a violet. For highlights, I don't remember. Maybe overlay? I haven't done it this way in a while. Also, Esso, I love you. Oh, dear lord, Esso. Thank you. I laughed so hard. The first comic brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the best part I just realized is that in the third panel of the stairs comic, you can see the word, end of the word pants as it was copied directly from the first comic. Shit, Esso, your, your work's like a fucking onion. <laughs> you mean it stinks and makes you cry? Lola T. Robin and Lola Esso. Lola everybody. <laughs> Oh boy, you know, doing a paint over on a on that pick's not a bad idea. I can maybe I can fix the little things that have been bugging me. Also, what pick reminds you of the autopilot? Ah, I was wondering what that thing pointing out mode supply on one of the layers was. I had no idea what it did, and as such, what he was trying to show me. Thanks for that for the image of my computer covered in poop, by the way. <laughs> and also, only two panels on that last one. So come on, don't start slack now. You'll disappoint us, your fans. <laughs> Why, why did I do the Why did I do the Andrew Hussey voice? I just realized I did the Andrew Hussey voice for that. Fuck. That was the Willard, not Andrew Hussey. I fucked up. I fucked up so bad. I will never recover. I will never financially recover from this. I'm gonna lose all 80 of my current subscribers on this channel. Oh no. <laughs> Die is I'm dead. Okay. Anyway. Um. Damn. Let me fucking check it. I I think I'm gonna f just finish this at any either way. Just fucking checking to see something. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting this to go on so long. Like, where are we? Yeah, it's close to an hour. <laughs> oh well, we're finishing this. Um, I should prob. I think I'm fine, but I should probably delete a few things on my computer. Oh dear, yeah, definitely. Um, don't I haven't uploaded that one yet? Um, I could delete some of these. Like I don't, I don't know. Those alone are good amount of time, but you know, good good, good amount of space. I mean, but. Mm. I don't need those. Everything else in this folder is shit I have to upload. But... Hmm. Uh, I don't need that. Hmm. Do, do I? I don't even remember what these are. They're tiny, so. Yeah. I think I'm. I'm just gonna continue, and if I really need the space, I can just fucking purge that. Not that bad. Alright, I come bearing a gift, but we'll get to that in a minute. 
I never came in here with the intention of learning to draw the easy way or any other douchey cries or attention slash validation slash praise. I did co- wait. Oh yeah, several months later, I did come here was from was for some help from the source. I know I can't draw. I never claimed otherwise. But as I have said, I'm all we've got. I I've got my friends. Th- I got I got my friend started reading Penny Arcade and Rhombus has become anonymous with bitch and acts as a basis for an endless stream of jokes and shit talking. And sometimes after that we started thinking of some of the funnier shit that we've come up with thus happens to us in comic form. You know, hey that'd be hilarious if it was comic wear and the next panel you you get the idea. However, none of us can draw. I am quite literally the best we've got. And since it was Penny Arcade that started the shenanigans, I thought it would be the best place to seek out some help. Let's look at the guitar analogy again. Say my friend's band needs to practice, but their guitarist is sick. They've heard I can kind of play the song they need to practice and ask me to stand in. So if I decide that first I'm going to ask with it, ask some actual guitarist for help with that song, and that only that one song that I can play, I can kind of play. I don't see how that's an excuse to morph into a complete douche tool. Yes, that's my favorite product of talent for creating new insults via amalgamation and emit an endless stream of fuck off, fuck off, fuck off until I give up. Now that I'm pointing fingers, this is the internet. I type names. Metal Boy. And, while we're on the topic, I know imitation is a sincerest form of flattery, but stop trying to combine words into new insults. Just stop. See, douche tool works because you are a douche and a tool. But, uh, oh, wait. Oh, hey, good morning. I will fucking check Discord again. Nothing. Alright. <laughs> Vag booger works because having a booger in your bag would be disgusting and annoying. And ass nugget? Well, that's just a turd. See how that works. But bitch burglar? Cock doubler? How does one burgle bitches? You're just throwing random words together and it pales in comparison. And anyone that is taking that stance and me being unreasonable or responding poorly to criticism, go back and read through the thread. The only time I started slinging shit back at Metal was when he issued a personal attack, a comment that had nothing to do with anything other than that salty man calling me a lazy fuck. Yes, I'm so lazy, so incredibly lazy because I moved across the country and am building a successful career as a game designer and don't want to switch gears completely and become a graphic designer so that I can better entertain my friends and other random people that happen by occasionally and get a giggle at our jokes. My friends and I come up with so many comics that never make it to completion because I have become so frustrated with my inability to draw and fighting with Photoshop that I just don't finish them out of disgust. Where would Penny Arcade be if Ty, if Ty, 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 Ty Show Jerry didn't have game Mike? It never would have happened because either A, Jerry's inability to draw would have gotten it completely ignored, or B, Jerry... Jerry's inability to draw prevents him from even trying, not that I'm claiming to be as funny as P.A. I thought at the time that it would be a good idea to get some help from experienced people I can actually interact with. Books that don't answer specific questions very well. Books don't answer specific questions very well often. So I could at least not be yelling, Fuck you, Wang Licker! At, Wang Licker! At Photoshop while I'm trying to draw what little artistic ability I have. Yes, it is amateurs. I am an amateur who ever only took a single art class in high school. I would like to become better, a better artist so that I can live up to my part of my art little endeavor, but I'm not looking to dedicate my life for it. And to SO, what the hell, man? I was so disappointed to have returned here after such a long absence and by nothing new from the world of Sweet Brown Hella Jeff. Yes, I, I do get it, by the way. You're mocking me. I just don't care. My jokingly asking how high you get when you write this up with commentary on type of random... What the fuck? Adult, style, sw- adult swim style humor your mockery has. Adult swim, of course, the type of programming that generally caters to those stoned off their ass. I like how you mock my question in the comic that followed by capitalizing random words. It's very clever, really, but it was pretty damn cu- cu- funny in this randomness. And I'm serious when I say my disappointment at his apparent conclusion. I don't. Th- I. God, fucking. Yeah, it's Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff did, had, had to have, like, been started on MSPA, like, not long. This motherfucker doesn't know of it. I hope someone links it. Oh, I hope, I hope to God someone links it. If not, I, pr- I promise I will hunt down the Willard and I will personally ask. And if I fucking, if I manage to get anything, then I will mention whatever Homestuck episode I fucking do it. 
or MSP. Like, I will put in the fucking description what episode I fucking actually contact the Willard in if it's not linked here. If it is linked here and the Willard's like, oh, damn, oh, holy shit, then, you know, I'm just not going to bother. But, like, if Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff is not linked in this thread, I'm going to go on a fucking manhunt of the Willard and I'm going to fucking tell him, hey, have you ever, have you ever, have you ever seen the full Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff? My man? My buddy? My friend? <laughs> I will hunt you down. So, Yes, I'm sorry. That the, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I entered and asked for help without realizing this place is for professional and aspiring to be professional artists only. I'm sorry if I didn't explain my position earlier clearly enough to avoid some of this douche storm, even if that meant everyone just ignored me or I was booted. I'm even sorry I felt the need to defend myself when comments went from criticism of my drawing to an attack on me personally. I know better. I know a fuckstick that would be a cock, dick, wiener, prick, etc., who likes to make himself feel superior on an internet forum because he knows that form is the only place where you will ever matter enough to get away with such antics and I know better than the play into their ego stroking but I faltered so I am in fact sorry so I present to you a gift my latest comment that I actually finished to mock and poke fun or giggle at whichever grants you the most satisfaction it took me much longer to finish than I would have liked, even though I started trying out a sketching style that actually works with my lack of artistic ability unless we draw everything out faster than my others. And so, the joke is not at the height of relevance I would have preferred. Why did it take me so long if it still looks like butt? Apparently you haven't been reading the thread. The prestige edition comes with what? Oh boy. Ooh yeah. It kind of rem it kind of reminds it like it reminds me of something that'd be on like the fucking draw pile website I think <sighs> like this is like what like some of the best drawings on it looking like this yeah damn all right so when do you think you'll pick up Modern Warfare two I, d I don't I I don't know if I'm gonna get it at all I mean. I, I I was never that into the first one. I, I, and I stopped playing like six months ago. What? Quarantine. Th oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's see. If, let's see if we can get lucky here. Please, please don't tell me. Please, 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 please don't. No, it's gone. No. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so what's it called? Quarn. What did I. Okay, I did not. Wait, hold on, wait. I, um, I know what I'm doing. Hell yeah. Quarantine 3 JPEG. Hell yeah. No! 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 Wait, 2S. What, what if I add, what if I add an S? Fuck! Okay. The punchline is gone forever. I'm crying, I'm sobbing. I now realize that the, those goggle devices are plugged into people's heads, but... That one guy in the last panel still looks to me like he's wearing a tomato cap. Which is awesome, tomato cap should be a real thing. I can't see the tomato cap! No! No! That comic would be about a hundred times better if it was just the last panel, which I can't see! Holy foot groveling Nintendo Scrabble do! Someone light the SO Beacon stat. Now, I get what you're saying with a guitar analogy, I guess, but you really lost me when you started chastising people who were making up insults. <laughs> Too many words, not enough art. The AC wouldn't be the AC if people didn't like him. Uh, uh, the AC wouldn't be the AC if people like him and come around and tell us how horrible we are. We are horrible. We are the AC. It tickles me pink that I piss off someone so bad that they feel the need to bring it up eight months later. The best part is so sweet, bro, and hella Jeff. The guy's so hella sweet that reality itself came apart. Chill the fuck out, dude. People here try to help you. Beaver draw and metal. You told them in so many words that you aren't interested in learning to draw. You're just doing this from friends, which essentially turns your thread into a showcase thread, which we kind of frown on. It wasn't. I don't think that was the case. I don't know. Sorry, but that, uh, my comics were the jokes, you know. 
Oh, yeah, but that makes it bad comic. You have to understand the expressiveness of expressiveness of the image is what sells the joke. The best I- example I can think of is Calvin and Hobbes. Did you ever read it? If you did, try and recount the number of times in your head that you laughed at only the pictures. I know I can think of a lot of times personally. If you didn't read it, then do so. Actually, think of the 10th anniversary book because as far as I'm concerned, it's filled with sage advice, useful insights, and a window into the mind of one of the better cartoonists to ever pick up a pencil. The only reason anybody has insulted you is because you're being kind of an idiot. You want to improve your drawing, learn some of the basics. You don't have to spend decades mastering the figure, composition, lighting, color theory, etc. Just sit down and get over yourself and draw. The guy in the hollow hoodie looks like some stupid boyfriend I have in Vancouver. Oh, so that's a huge improvement from the first time you posted that. Here are some things I think you could benefit from. Perspective. One point on the horizon is all you need to convey a distance. It's super easy to learn and it'll help you a lot for every aspect of a comic. Cleaning up your lines. I know it can be a cool style to have them all shaggy and such, but it does nothing for your piece when you run out of room for people to end up just making them smaller so they'll fit. Don't use Comic Sans. It's the number one rule of comics. There are plenty of free font packs out there with really cool comic fonts that will probably feel a little more natural. I can't seem to find the rest of your comics anywhere. Do you have an Image Shack account? Do you have them archived? Or, ooh, this is good. Oh, oh, hell yeah. The economy. The, the, eco- the economy in ruins? Bro, time to get my game on. Know what I'm saying? And there he goes! The squirrel has his game! I am not joking! What did that guy even smoke? This is insane! <laughs> Maybe they're right, but sometimes video games does cause violence! <laughs> Check again, bro! Bro, did you get the new con game that everyone's buzzing about these days? Dude, you know I did! You know it! That is so sweet, man! How about a bro hug bump? Okay, how do we do this? Let's do this thing! Let's make this shit work! We're doing it, man! We're making this happen! Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, okay, this is just almost the rest of it. <laughs> Bro, I gotta take it to the big game at sports. Dog, I am so jealous. You know I love the, the, the big game. Oh yeah. And there he goes. The big man has the rock. He's driving so hard through the paint downtown. I'll leave you, I'll leave you for the slam dunk. I fucking I love I love this comic. I love how fucking stupid it is. Introducing the new friend, Garomi. Bro, have bro, have you seen my socks around anywhere? No, dude. Again with the socks. What is it even with you and socks, man? It's like you must be talking up on a joint to make you st- stone or something. I can't even think of who these other socks lie all around like that. Oh! Uh, cool, bye. A sock was a distraction. I have the car. <laughs> fucking, I fucking hate this comic. He's even uh, ve- he's even featured various quotes and references to Sweet Bro and Hello Jeff and his newest adventure, Homestuck. It's also a wiki. This. Let's let's see if this is still up. Alright, it's gonna do its thing. Oh, that's so kidding. <laughs> this is actually kind of what happened. <laughs> Blind Buy is a good place to start. Uh, sure. I'm about to die because I opened a web archive link, so whatever. I suggest hitting the question slash tutorial, sticking and grabbing the Loomis book. Uh, uh, they're pretty handy for basic layout stuff, such as perspective, as Molly noted above. Never change, AC. <laughs> A- AC who? You AC? I don't know who AC is, damn. They never commented on it! I did not know that SO was Andrew. This is very informative. 
What I like about the most recent post is a rant about combining expletives. I'll be waffle damned if I can agree, though. So, if, this, if the dude is still around, this... No, most people in here aren't professionals. You don't have to be a paid professional to be good at art. You're overreacting. Look at Bebo's new thread about artists slash criticism, which contradicts all the bullshit metal was posting, but still the philosophy of the form. As Molly said, work on perspective. Clean up your lines, work on anatomy. Don't use comic sans. These are things you should do if you care about your comic looking good. If you don't care about making your comic worth our time to look at, then don't expect us to care about your comic. I just generally how life works. It's like giving me a story filled with grammatical failures, poor sentence structure, and a terrible plot. Sure, I can tell you how to make it better, but if your intent isn't to be a great writer, then why the hell are you giving it to me to read? I'm not your friend. I don't know you. If my advice is going to be taken seriously, then don't ask for it. Your friends are your friends are there to pat you on the back and enjoy your novice work. The outside world is far less sympathetic. This is what it is to live amongst other humans. Learn to deal with it. You can't complain when people tell you that you're doing a bad job and you need to learn how to do better. Wait, I'm sorry. You can complain. Keep doing that. It's helpful when everyone cares. Preemptive edit. Oh, wait. People already said these exact same things on page two and you just didn't get it. Wonderful. Granted, metal is a complete tool, but he does say true things that other people say like normal people. He just says them like a rabbit dog jacked up on a straight horse stick. It's totally inappropriate nonetheless. I'm pretty sure it's happened since last March. Right, this loaded, not valid community. Damn. Gone forever. How about you? Damn. We'll have to get the archive of it if it exists, but oh man. So, that was a fucking thing. <laughs> that was a fucking experience. Oh god. Fucking, I've. I'm, I kind of want to pull up the fucking Sweet Barrel and Hello Jeff page in the Homesuck Weekend now, but I think we should save that for when we start reading it in the Homesuck thing, because, like, the way it's written is fucking hilarious. Like, it's written, it's fucking written that, like, in a way that fucking, it just treats Sweet Barrel and Hello Jeff like high art, and it says some of the most ridiculous things. The fucking wiki page is written so fucking hilariously, I love it. But, yeah, that was it. How long is this? I'm fine. Did not mean to click on that. I guess it didn't register, which is good. Just over an hour. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is not going to be the longest video. I can fucking tell. Because, like, I don't think any of the, any of the other pre-homesick stuff is going to be this long. But there's going to be some shit later in homesick that will, like, oh, man. <laughs> But yeah, next time we're doing Jailbreak and Bard Quest. I don't know if I'll record them today like, orig like I originally planned. We'll see. But, see y'all fucking soon. Oh boy. <laughs>